Hello. Charlie with typewriter justice. And that is a 1939 Royal Model P. In that crazy textured alligator skin looking kind of wrinkle paint that they did so well. This machine has been lovingly used, maybe angrily used, nobody knows, nobody knows. It's got typical wear marks on them, but uh, man, I had a, a devil of a time getting this thing into working condition. That's when I got it. Apparently, I don't know whether it just took a nasty bang or drop or something in shipping, which is entirely possible, but I seem to remember the original auction on this saying that it was already not functioning, and I know that this dent was already there, because there's a dent in this piece. You can see it with the light. It's not too bad. But, uh, man, I ended up having to do a bunch of work on this thing. The uh, ribbon transport was all jacked up, had to take that apart. Um, change out one of the sprockets in there, little worm gear things. Um, ribbon vibrator was missing a tine, had to replace that whole piece. And yes, I know you can replace those tines rather than replacing the whole piece, but I had a parts machine and it's so much easier just to plug one in there. Um, and I'll still fix it eventually. I'll still have to do the, uh, the escapement. Oh Lordy. Yeah, the escapement was all out of whack. It had taken, apparently the carriage had taken such a, a hard hit at some point that the escapement itself got bent inside its mounting. And so I had to remove the entire carriage just to be able to get to it, to form it back into shape, um, which I don't recommend. Like, that is not for the faint of heart, people. Um, even if you have the crazy little tool to put the bearings back in there, it's not easy. Um, took me like half an hour to get the carriage back on there. And I know what I'm doing. You know, ostensibly know what I'm doing. Ha! What else do I have to do? Change out the draw band there, draw string. Um, I did not do a chemical clean on this thing because it really didn't need it. I mean, the machine itself is pretty clean. Got a little bit of surface rust on there, some on the bell and some down on the chassis right there and on the comb, but uh, not too much. Those feet have a little bit of squish left to them, but man, they are flat as pancakes. Um, I might change those out. I did already change out the rubber. Brand new JJ Short Platinum feed rollers. So they're super grippy. Print really well, nice and quiet. About as quiet as a Model P can ever get. Um, Cause these are, these are little workhorses, man, but they're not the quietest machines on earth. Um, even with a brand new platen. And I'll show you, uh, Royal Model P, serial number P as in Papa P as in portable. P89271, circa. 1939. And we're going to be on the black setting here. I love the way these are set up with that little lockout so you don't just accidentally go into the stencil setting, right? Because apparently that was such a problem. Not really. <laughs> and this machine actually has a kind of cool thing going on too. Um, if you look at the punctuation marks, there's no question mark. There is really a question mark up on the type slugs. It's just not reflected on the key tops. I don't know why, but the insert for that question mark is not there. It's got a comma over a comma indicated, but it's actually a question mark over the comma. So, anyway, uh, on the black setting, the... Quick brown 
box jumps over the lazy dog. I love the print that you get out of this thing. The platinum makes a world of difference. I go on the red setting here. The quick brown box jumps over the lazy dog. Not too bad. And black again. Um, now is the time for all good men to come to the aid of their country. That's what I was hoping to get to. Margin release. I had to work on that too, man. Getting the margin release on these is lined up, it can be a little tricky. I mean, they're pretty easy, but you know, you gotta form all that stuff into shape. Um, back to the red setting. Pack my box with five dozen liquor jugs. It's my new favorite pangram. Pack my box with five dozen liquor jugs. A little type test. All in all, I have no complaints. She looks good, she types good, she sounds good. I think maybe she is good. So there you go. 1939 Burgundy Royal Model P. Ooh, honey. Quite a looker.